12 hour hostage situation in the heart of downtown St. Louis finally over. Yeah, but tonight the mystery surrounds the man accused of holding a woman and two children hostage. Justin Andrews talked to a woman who was staying at the hotel whose morning Justin started with police at her door. Yeah, just imagine that Sam and Corey. It was five o'clock in the morning when she heard officers banging on the hotel door. Eventually she made it outside and this is what she walked into. There was a lot of uh, police presence, large tactical police presence there and that lasted for hours. Tonight we're learning from police. It was a child who called 911 as he was locked inside a bathroom inside that hotel room. First alert four cameras rolled as this 42 year old suspect was rolled out of the jury in Wednesday evening following a nearly 12 hour hostage situation. And honestly, I was wondering what was going on. Valencia Johnson remembers getting a knock on her third floor hotel room at five o'clock in the morning. They were saying that we needed to leave the room. That's because police say they got a call from a boy locked inside of a hotel bathroom with his brother saying his mom and a man were in the room fighting. The male then got on the phone and he stated that he was armed with a weapon and this female and male are acquaintances. They didn't know each other. The tactical team moved in and got the six and eight year old brothers out of the room within an hour. Investigators tell us the suspect then barricaded himself and the woman inside that room. So we knew something was really bad. After negotiating for roughly eight more hours, Police Chief Robert Tracy says they were able to safely get the woman out of the room. Tactical patience was done today negotiations and it came to a safe and successful conclusion. About an hour after the woman was released, police say the suspect surrendered. While the situation was unfolding, police say business was usual at the hotel, except for guests like Johnson, who evacuated for safety. But it was an alarming scene to see that many officers. Right now, we know the suspect is undergoing a mental evaluation as police and the prosecutor's office work on drafting possible charges. Corey. A lot of tense moments there today. All right, Justin, thank you. Police